Hi there, how are we doing today? We've got a product from Tower. I got this from uh, B&M at £25. I'm sure you can get it from other places. If so, I'll link them on in, district, in the description below. £25, you can't go wrong. Deep fat fryer, two and a half litres. Glass windscreen to look into. It says family size. As you can see, I've got air fryer outside. I just fancy some proper chips. Not frozen chips, put in air fryer. I just fancy some frozen chips for £25. Wife's away. I'm going to have some proper chips. Some nice egg. Farm eggs on top. Beautiful. So, let's see what we get. But amazing price, I haven't opened it yet. So, we'll just go for cutting. There we can see, all right, I've just got my cap mount on for my Insta360. So, what we've got there, tower, just on about the branding, 1912, British company it says, and I didn't even realize that myself. I thought there was a Chinese company, probably still made in China, and that. Or Taiwan, leaflet here, what do you need? That doesn't tell you a right lot. We've got a bag, that's it. So get it out of the bag. So let's have a look. There's different heat settings, three different ones by looks. Different heat settings, chips, fish cakes, prawns, chicken. One thing or another, I'll probably be only doing some chips. Um, and that, so this is the window. First, yeah, it is glass. So let's have a look. Well, uh, wrapped up, little chip tray. I was gonna get one of them longer ones. I thought, no, I'll get the smaller one. Well, not smaller, but a little bit wider one, but never. So that that's about it. Simple. So it holds two and a half litres of oil. Well, it says two and a half litres, so I gather that's two and a half litres of oil. Um, like I said, that's your chip basket. So you can put that in there, put it on, look through your window. Beautiful. So, we have a button here, what holds the lid down. So the actual handle can be down or across by just moving this button here. That's a good little feature. So we've got a minimum and maximum mark. I don't know if you can see because that lighting isn't that brilliant here quite a poor day outside and I haven't got all my light rigging so first thing we're gonna do is gonna peel some potatoes and I'll do a catch up on the video halfway through and then the finished product I have not done it for years have not we I can't even remember last time we had a deep fat fry up but I know it's not supposed to be right healthy, but for £25, well, the oil cost as much, to be fair now. <laughs> Price of oil these days, you can't believe it. So let's get this plastic off and then we'll come back later. See you soon. So we're back 
we've got the oil in it's up to temperature now 180 degrees I've set it at I've cut my chips I've rinsed my chips I've dried my chips so they're ready to go in so this light was on and now it's off so I, I gather that it's up to the temperature So I'm off to put my chips in. Come away, dog. I don't want any splashbacks for the first time. So I'm off to not fill the basket up. I'm so it's not overcrowded. They're quite thick as chips I like. Just made enough for two portions. As you can see, I'm going to have to place it back in. We'll put the lid back down. So, that's the amount of moisture coming out of the chips. Chips are about 80% water moisture, and you want to get it down to about 40. Um, there's different variations you can pre boil them and then chill them down and recook them a little bit and then recook them again triple cook chips you can put them in on a lower temperature and then uh, cool them down and put them from when you're ready you can put them back in for three minutes and looking nice the heat marker hasn't been on that much all the steam have gone so like i say them they're nearly ready i'll put the lid back down so fantastic little uh, machine for the price it's like the good old days when you used to have proper chips to be honest, I'm not keen on frozen chips anyway. Um, but I do like a good homemade chip. I'm going to put plenty of salt and vinegar on. I'm going to cook an egg as well. So that'll be fantastic. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to please like and subscribe. There's plenty more other videos. Especially about um, air fryers. I was going to maybe put this in my camper van. But... The, for me there's a bit too much steam i don't like all that steam um in the van because it, it's quite a dry van so yeah no it's not worth it um as you can see it's come back on now so it's heating the oil back on but it's very rarely just put it on so it'd be quite interesting to see how much power it uses um because it hasn't hardly been on on the initial stage of warming up anyway thanks for watching like i say thumb give me a thumbs up thanks a lot well, goodbye <music>